Hey, what's going on YouTube? Long time no see. Honestly, I've been busy. There's so many things that have happened in my life with my family, work. The last time you probably saw something from me uh, consistently was the 30 for 30 challenge that I did. You probably saw me build that right there where you probably saw me set up some things here in the studio. So one of the biggest things have been that we got our uh, own place, like our own studio. Uh, in the channel, there's a video where I set up everything like in my garage and my old place. But now we are on our own studio. Uh, we bought some land and we got a house and right next to the land, we have a studio. Uh, currently, I'm editing a vlog for D&D Squad. Uh, Anthony, shout out to Anthony Chavira. Uh, you guys probably know him because my YouTube actually grew because of all the off-road stuff. You guys would love it. I mean, we had a video that kind of popped off on my channel. And at the time, we were just both trying to grow our channel at the same time. And he kind of just took off and I just kept shooting for him. You know, one of the things that he mentioned why he had to stop was because of all the things that he you know got busy with you know things like that outside looking in on his situation I was like dude you're just making excuses like you have a great fan base like you got to push you got to push like do it be more consistent but we're back at it and as I was telling Anthony dude you got to get back at it go you got to be consistent you got this and that nothing he didn't know but you know I recently saw him post post consistently like two videos within a week kind of taking my own advice you know, uh, dude, you got to post too. So that's what I'm trying to do. We literally want to post more. I want to show you guys what I'm doing. I want to show you guys the studio, see what I'm up to. I'm going to clean the studio real quick so you can watch me do that. And then I got to pick up my son literally like in 30, 40 minutes because he gets early out and he's about to hit spring break. Stay tuned, tune in, and let's try to be more consistent. Also, I want to mention how unprepared I am to shoot these vlogs. I'm like in sweat pants and like Burks, but I just said, screw it. Let's post, let's be consistent. And I'm tired of making excuses. I want to make it happen. Oh, I also bought uh, these stickers. You probably saw them on my Instagram. If you want one, just uh, hit me up in the comments or DM me on Instagram and I'll figure out a way to get it to you. Peace, let's get to cleaning. One of the things that I haven't done and I tell people to do all the time is to like introduce themselves. My name is Daniel. I am a full-time content creator. I'm 34 years old. I am married. I've been married for the past 12 years or going on 12 years this September. And I have a son. He's eight years old. It's just so difficult to be the one creating content for others. And you honestly neglect a lot of the content creation on, on you know, on your end. Like you lack creating content uh, for yourself. The other thing too that just recently purchased a home, this will be like our third home that we have bought. I mean, we bought and sold the last two, so it's not like we still have those homes. That's also been a crazy learning curve because we have land now and it's not just like have like a little tiny backyard. It's our yard is pretty big. We've also been taking on a lot of more, you know, bigger clients projects, which have been fun to do because they're projects that are big enough so that we can take like a team out, kind of create content for. Our most recent one was we did a conference for Dan Sfera, who's one of my clients and we do all his, uh, I wouldn't say a lot of his because he posts every day on YouTube. We do make like one nice professional podcast where he either has a guest or himself and we've been consistent for the past year almost or no actually a little bit past the year we've been consistent and just creating these pieces where he talks about his clinical research uh, uh, information that he has he already had a following when I met him on YouTube but I think me and him work well together where you know he loves the style that I do and I think his fan base, and I say fan base because we went to that conference in uh, Tucson that we covered and he couldn't even walk like five steps before getting stopped by somebody, whether it was just to say hi or they wanted to sign his book. So that was pretty cool. I also shout out to the 505 boys. If you haven't heard their podcast, the 505 podcast, uh, they're great content creator first 
you know, uh, podcasts. And they go anywhere from tips and tricks to bringing on guests that have already done it. It's cheat codes, you know, <laughs> like if someone's telling you exactly what to do and how to do it and you don't go out and do it that way and you're like, nah, I'll do it my way. Bro, it's literally cheat codes. Like he's telling you, they're telling you how to do it and, and what they're doing and what makes it work. Obviously you can try it and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. If you at least try it, you'll know that it didn't work for you and now you have to take another step. Listen to these guys. These guys are dope. Honestly, I'm waiting for my merch. I bought some merch, so let's go. I made more of a mess. I was trying to clean. I made more of a mess now. Let's get to it. Just picked up Moy from school. Yes. I think the person that's most excited for me to go back to vlogging is this dude right here. He loves making videos and content. We actually have a podcast together that we started earlier this, uh, earlier last year. Moy's got food from, it was early out today. So he's got some food. He's going to eat some. All right, cool. So you're excited that we're going to be vlogging? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Why are you excited we're going to be vlogging? Uh, because we get to make more videos. Yeah. I think more than anything, and I think he gets it too, is the memories. He's kind of more excited for that we're actually going to be vlogging a little bit more. So uh, it's around lunch, like almost noon, so I'm going to go get something to eat. And we're going to get back to cleaning this mess up. Uh, by the way, this is a uh, a flash. Uh, it's a Flashpoint uh, 600. I'm gonna be using it on a shoot this weekend, and it got here a couple days ago. And we're gonna be shooting some photos for some baseball players this weekend, and we're gonna be blogging that. Nonetheless, let's get to it. I gotta get something to eat. Big dude, gotta eat. Gotta keep eating my food, and we'll get back to it. Peace. Peace. What's up guys? I wanna um, go on Instagram. I did go on Instagram and ask people to ask me questions, some like photo and video related questions. So I wanna go ahead and take the time to answer that. First one was Druick. So shout out to Chris. Thanks for asking the question. Uh, Chris asked, what is my skincare routine. <laughs> I don't have a skincare routine. I actually think my skin looks horrible. And if I really cared how my skin was, you guys wouldn't be seeing this video. So that's how much I care about my skin. Um, I actually need a haircut too. And I am getting a lot of white hairs. Enough about my insecurities. I don't have a skincare routine. So sorry about that. All right, uh, the other one is Ivan. Ivan asks, uh, do you recommend shooting in log over just standard video recording? Honestly, I like the log look. You can obviously convert it to Rec. 709 or whatever it is that you use, uh, your conversion LUT. And it looks great, obviously, if it's exposed correctly. It does add a couple more steps to your editing, which, I mean, right now, like me, I'm not shooting in a log. I'm just shooting in regular standard Canon colors. and I I just want to get a quick turnaround. Me getting a quick turnaround to these YouTube videos is going to be way better for me than to, uh, you know, take a couple extra steps with log. Honestly, I just have to sit down and exactly look at what I want my look to look like and what I want it to be. And then I'll go back to shooting log because I have shot in log before and like weddings and things like that. But because I don't know exactly how it's going to look after I take, it takes us longer to edit the video. So, you know, it's I do love the log look, but when I want to do something quick and things like that, then I'll just do the standard log, uh, standard uh, Canon colors. Uh, Carlos, uh, he's actually going to be here right now. Uh, Carlos asks, what is your most used piece of equipment or accessory aside from cameras? I think the next thing, or if not the most important thing is lighting, right? So if we shut this light off, you guys probably wouldn't see me. Uh, no matter how good my camera is, it's not going to matter. So lighting is key. I think I use my lights a lot, uh, even in that photo shoot you guys saw that I shot earlier. I mean, it's light, you know, it's, it's all it's all based on light. So whether it's flash, whether it's constant light, I think lighting is key, obviously, to have a great photo. And then obviously the camera with your shutter speed, your aperture and your ISO 
obviously all that together will give you a nice uh, lit photo. But for me, especially here at the studio, lighting is key. So everything's based around lighting. So all the soft boxes that I use, whether I have a honeycomb on them or it's just like it is right now and it's like going all over the place. Lighting is the accessory that I use most or the equipment that I use most besides my camera, obviously. Thank you guys so much for even taking the time to ask me any questions and I hope you guys ask me more questions in the long run. But for now, still waiting for Carlos to come and show up and when he gets here, we'll get to talking to him. So thank you. All right, you guys, so I honestly, I took a nap, was tired, I was feeling it, because I was up uh, early in the morning today, but I had to go home, go to the house, get showered, get ready, get dressed, because I have a photo shoot. One of my friends, Jaime, his daughter's turning 15 years old. I have to get ready and get the studio set up, enjoy this time lapse as I get ready for the photo shoot. You guys saw in the time lapse that we had Jay and her dad, uh, Jaime. I'm so happy that I got the chance to take her photos. It means a lot when it's like your birthday stuff, so it's really cool. Uh, her sweet 16 is next year, and I think we're gonna be, I think we're gonna get hired to do that too. So we're in the talks of that, so perfect. And I just, I love Jaime too, because he's like a like-minded person in the space of business and content creation. So it's cool to have people like that around you, and he's also bringing me business, so that's always a plus, and he's a cool guy. So we had coffee the other day, and we talked about a bunch of stuff. It's just exciting, exciting to have people like that uh, around you in your life. Life. Um, right now, honestly, I'm probably just gonna clean up and call it a day, to be honest. Uh, I had to send some invoices. You guys saw me editing earlier. Probably gonna take some time with my family. Uh, oh no, actually, uh, Carlos is coming today. Carlos is coming. Uh, we're trying to see if we can do a documentary for him. Um, he wants to throw a spin on the way we do the documentary. So we're gonna talk about that. So you know what? Let's, next clip is probably gonna be Carlos and we're gonna be talking to Carlos. So, see you in a little bit. Carlos, can't wait to see you, bro. Hey, <laughs> yo. The man himself. Bro, that's funny. I was thinking of saying, como dijo Ludovicito Peluche. Yeah, you're good, but then I saw the camera, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be legit. <laughs> the cool things that I want to do, you know, this year, may not be this year, maybe next year, yeah. maybe in two years, three years, whatever it may take. Um, but something that I definitely have been wanting to do for the longest time is definitely, one, that, that documentary that I told you about, and two, you know, just creating like short little films to like get my little directorial muscle like going at least, you know, just. Dude, I love it. Yeah, so, I don't know, I'm not really excited. <laughs> I love it. El Carlos in the studio. So Carlos, dude, we got some exciting things coming up. Yes, sir. Yes. Big things coming. Big things coming. So Carlos is a wrestler. Uh, he wants to do like beach wrestling, right? Oh, you do beach wrestling. Yeah. He does a bunch of like wrestling stuff, and if you love wrestling, go check out his TikTok. It's if just... you don't know wrestling, you should also check it out because I also educate you on what wrestling is. Oh yeah, there you go. I've learned a lot actually. I learned a lot about wrestling. I don't even wrestle, but I enjoy watching his videos because the storytelling is dope. So. Uh, Go check him out. Uh, we're gonna finish the vlog. Today's vlog was a lot. I mean, we did photo shoots, we did a lot of cleaning, picked up my son, I cooked, we edited, so we did a lot of cool stuff. But now, honestly, we're just gonna finish up here with Carlos a little bit, talk a little bit more, and then we go to sleep. Tomorrow is another day. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it. Share it with somebody that you think may benefit from all this rambling on that I did today. So anything you want to add, Carlos? Um, 
love your life? <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> I just put him on the spot. He <laughs> yeah. wasn't prepared to do that. <laughs> anyway. Have a yeah. <laughs> Anyways, have a great night, guys. Peace.